Hello YouTube, this here is episode number three. It's going really, really, really well. We're like Cannibal Jones who is sad about eating humans, and we remain sad about eating humans, but we have two human fetuses ready to be eaten. So we're gonna be sad about that in a few minutes because uh, we're tired and also very hungry, and you know what that means. We're tired and hungry, so we can eat terrible, terrible fetuses and then sleep off the mental anguish. Uh, meanwhile, this chocolate milk is old, so we're going to eat it too. Because um, uh, chocolate milk and fetus is... Oh, and now the milk's old. We're just going to let that milk go bad. We're just going to let it go bad. You eat the fetus. going to eat the fetus. Honey badgers and Tasmanian devils are two animals that you are terrified of. Oh, well, yeah! <laughs> of course. It's, it's, it's called... Yeah. No, just eat... Just, Run away. R just run away. Run away if you see them. Just run. Fast. Fa run. Okay. Fetus. Oh, um, it's going to make us sick. Eat it anyway? Yes. Uh, we feel horrible for eating a person, but we're listening to some collaborative ska. So that's good. Um, feel horrible for eating a person, but happy because we're listening to collaborative ska. Okay. Good. I think that's, I think, I think in, in the balance, that's a positive, net positive. Our morale's too low to study. Oh dear. Maybe it's not a net positive after all. Maybe it was only a, a net positive in our hearts and minds, but not in our reality. So let's wear our blindfold. Balance in all things, rather fight a bear than those things. Yeah, um, I don't know about the rather fight a bear part. Um... <laughs> Maybe it's just that I live in the part of the world that has a lot of bears, but they're pretty scary. Uh, even the black ones are, are you know, they, they don't look that s scary, but they really, really are. They're very strong. They're, they're also really, really interesting creatures. Like, there was one time I'm, I'm walking on the beach, you know, um, Long Beach. Um, it's a different Long Beach than the ones you're thinking of. There's a lot of Long Beaches in the world. Um, Ooh, I'm terrified by a dream of swimming, sw swerving, s serving the hive queen. And my head mutation bump turned into horns. Um, how's my helmet doing? It looks like it's still on for now. Um, yeah. Bears do have poor confidence. That's true. Uh, so I'm, I'm on this beach, right? And there's a bear there. Um, oh, that was the first day of the rest of my unlife. So we're only on like the second day. Holy cow pollinating plants. So, okay, so we got horns. Let's just, one thing at a time. I'll tell my story after we read about the horns. Horns! We have a pair of small horns in our head. They allow us to make a weak, piercing headbutt attack. Okay. Sweet. Um, <laughs> cat scared bears away. Yeah, I mean, they, they would. Um, so I'm watching this bear on the beach, right? And, and I just got on top of a big rock, and I figured, like, you just you just got to make it hard on them, you know? Like, if, if you're on top of a rock, they'd be like, well, there's there's a human there. And that's kind of kind of a thing. But on the other hand, the human's on top of a huge rock. So I don't want to climb a rock because I'm a bear. Like, what do I look like, a rock climber? Rock climbers are usually human. They're not usually bear. So, so the bear doesn't want to climb the rock. So I, I can just sit on top of the rock all day, I'm thinking, right? And I did. And, and I watched the bear, and every once in a while he'd pop up his head and he'd look at me for a bit. But, but he mostly just said, oh, that human's not worth the trouble. He's, like, on top of a rock. And, um, and it was neat because the bear was, like, picking seaweed off the beach, and it was, like, searching for the little skittery crabs underneath the seaweed, and it was eating the little skittery, skittery crabs. Um, and that made me happy because it looked vaguely human the way it was lifting off of the covers and searching. Anyway, bears are vaguely human. That's all I have to say about that. So if you can eat bear, you can eat fetus, damn it. Um, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, uh, so we've searched everything. All we're doing right now is reading. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to take this helmet off, actually, and put it on the table. Oh, we're dragging our books, are we? Really? No, we're not. Um, oh, it's our blindfold. That's why I can't see them when we're off. Of I was thinking because I couldn't see books next to me that that meant we were, uh, we were dragging them, but we totally just were blindfolded. Ah, remember how to spell blindfold. It has an L, an L. Okay. Principles. Thump. Thump. All right, computer's level six. We're well on our way. 
We should be probably listening to our MP3 player while we're doing this. Let's eat a couple things that are going to give us happy. Oh, we can't eat our chocolate bar or chocolate candy. So, like, the game actually does apparently know that chocolate's a, a, a plant. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So we'll eat a cheese. Maybe another. We don't want the, the joy to come down too much, but a couple won't hurt. And the yogurt joy is still high. So let's eat a couple of those, too. Now we're, now we're full of joy. Full of, full of joy. Principles of advanced programming. Here we come. Uh, or I mean S-I-C-P. You don't trust people that aren't scared by skittering creatures. It's a hardwired fear for good reason. This is true. This is very, very true. Hardwired fears are important. Okay. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. Should probably leave the yogurt alone for a bit because uh, we no longer enjoy it quite so much. Drink some water. Do some more reading. This is going well. Like, our reading's going pretty quick, and our focus is staying at 60% despite reading a, a very painful book. So, we're going to finish this by tomorrow, I think. Oops. Good enough. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Trying to get it to stop right after it hits a level so that we don't waste any time. Okay, um, soy milk? That'll go bad soon, sure. Uh, do a little bit more reading and then we'll fall asleep. Might eat a leg. Not sure yet. Probably will eat a leg, in fairness. Hacker man! Yeah, we got our first level 7 skill and we got a, a nice little message for it. I am going to take off the hard hat. Look at our horns! Look, we got horns! We're so horny. I mean, that's not what I meant to say. Ooh, me so horn. Uh, no, I'm just going to stop now. That's that's a really, really terrible song, and it's also a little bit racist, so let's just not go there. <laughs> but, you know, only in the casual sense, not in the uh, overt sense, I suppose. That's slightly better, I think. Okay, um, what are we going to do now? We have horns. We're going to get a leg. That's right. We're going to get a leg with our horns. Hello, leg. We do have another fetus, but we just ate a fetus, and I feel like we should, like, you know, save the, the other fetus for later, because eat the best things last, I think, is the saying. So, let's, um... Eat the mutant leg instead of the misshaped fetus this time. But first, I'm going to read just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Yeah, now we're very hungry. Now it's a good time to eat the feet, the, the leg, the leg. Keep wanting to say fetus. All I want is fetuses, damn it. Now we're engorged and hurting. We lost our slimy mutation. Okay, sure. No, don't stop eating. So we're no longer slimy for some reason because we ate a leg. So let that be a message to you. Let that be a warning. If you want to like stay slimy, d don't eat severed limbs. We've covered that. We understand what we're what we're doing now. Um, we're gonna sleep. Oh, we should be wearing a blindfold. Let's wear a blindfold. Wear blindfold. Now sleep. All right. Slimy doesn't do anything. It's one of those precursor mutations, so it just makes your skin a little bit slimy. But like it'll it'll lead to other slimy stuff later. Feel cute, might eat a leg later. Oh, yeah. You know it. <laughs> I don't even need to feel cute to eat legs. Oh, I notice he also has little fangs. Look at that. He's got little white fangs. He's got fangs, and he's got sunglasses, and he's got horns, and he's, he's looking real suave. And he's got a crowbar, like a, like a makeshift one, like a bent pipe, you know? Um, good stuff. Okay. Blindfold off. Eat a thing. Not like a leg, though, this time. Um, maybe some BLT, because that'll go bad soon. Yeah. Now we'll read more SICP, but first we'll turn on our MP3 player. Good stuff. Gain strong scent. Oh, did I miss that? I might have just not seen it. Was it overnight? Probably. 
kind of stuff tends to happen overnight. Oh well. It makes us slightly less sneaky, but you know, we can handle it. I am going to stop reading because our last level just happened and I can take a look at our mutations and find the strong scent here. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not offensive to humans, but animals can track my scent. Hmm. Gotta watch out for them aminals, that's for sure. Very hungry and thirsty, so uh, all of our milk's gone bad or been drank. Um, we have chocolate drink, though. Let's drink a chocolate drink. And another chocolate drink. Yum. Clean water, I guess, to wash it down a bit. And uh, keep reading. Sure. Book is complex. Book is complex. We just lost rough skin. I noticed that this time, we are no longer rough skin. An earth sign muzzle. Didn't we have, like, more than just a muzzle before? Or it was... Maybe not. I don't know. Very strong and very dexterous are, are, are very nice, eh? Oh, we lost the gills. And gain strong scent, gain very dexterous. I think we're just going full on earth sign. I think that's what happened. what's happening. The... Uh, the mutations are dragging me in the direction of Earth Sign right now, which I'm okay with. That explains the carnivore and stuff too, although bears are not actually carnivores, but I'm pretty sure the Earth Sign is what gave us carnivore. I'm pretty sure that's like something that the game does, even though the real world doesn't approve. All right, more battery in the MP3 player. We're actually pretty low on light batteries, which is interesting. I bet you we have a lot of things that could be unloaded though. So we'll, we'll look at that when we need to. So this will be our level 8 computers, and that's really all we need to start uh, getting into these rooms. The first one we're going to go at is the library, I guess. Not that it really matters, though, because, like, the library isn't, like, any more pressing than the other ones now that we have computers 8 already, so... So the main reason to hit the libraries first is just the hope of getting exactly those two books. We got lucky. Okay, so let's um, turn off our, our MP3 player and get the show on the road. So what's the plan? Maybe we should just go for the library first, or there's vehicle testing. That's where the library is on the bottom floor. So we'll, we'll go down to the bottom floor. Um, I mean, not the bottom bottom, but the bottom that actually has things. The ones that have things. We'll wear our helmet. That's a smart thing to do. Do we have a UPS on us? Is that what it's saying? No. And it's weird that we can't put the machete in the in the sheath. I mean, fair. Right? Machete's a little too big, but it's kind of, a, kind of unfortunate. It'd be nice if we could have sheathed that away. We should eat something before we leave, though. Cracklins. Yogurt. Good enough. Okay. One more floor down. Um, where's the nearest downstairs? Hmm. There were also those uh, crates that we were going to... We were thinking that we'd open um, as soon as uh, it made sense to be able to fight off the... Uh, zombie dogs, so we could consider doing that with our machete. There's no stair in there anyway, though, so whatever. I wonder if the dogs in the cleaner bot would fight each other. Probably. Oh, look at this. We got scientists. Now, is this the... Right, this is the second to lowest floor. Well, let's run through the door for now, and then we'll decide whether we might we might just machete them. But either way, we need to wield the machete and drop the crowbar. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, look at that. We headbutt the zombie for six damage. Then we sink our fangs into the zombie for 20 damage. Then we swiftly strike the zombie for 33 damage. Ninja! <laughs> yes. Yes, we are the scariest of all the teenagers, and that is saying something. And we got Birdhouse Monthly. Nice. Nate's never seen a teenager this dangerous, that's for sure. Yeah. 
Man, this headbutt and bite and stuff. That's great. It's great. Bleach? Sure. Oh, has something gotten out of something here? No, he's, he can't get out of there. Literal angst demon. Yes, yes. That's what we are. We're very angsty and also a demon. Hello, leg and arm. Okay. Purifier. I mean, I guess we should take it, because I think he can craft things out of it. I hope, anyway. Okay, so we were going to go to the library. What's up here? Two more scientists? Oh, a scientist and a tough? Eh, sure. I'll kill you guys. I left my crowbar down there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, well. You grabbed me. Don't do that. Hmm. Might have been a bad idea to try taking on this tough zombie mono a mono like this. Um, we are a little bit hurt. We should probably just be careful, I guess. Say that with such disdain. Careful. Um, there's a dissector way down here. Yeah, all right. All right, zombie. Want to go for a hike? Oh, here's another one. I'm glad we made that decision before we ran like headlong into the other one. He's bleeding, right? He might just... He's bleeding from the torso. He still has plenty of health, though, so... He's unlikely to bleed out. We'll turn the flashlight on to make sure they can keep up. Yep, yeah, he's, he's right with us. Good stuff. Come on. There we go. That was way safer... And only a little bit more annoying. Okay, we'll unwield the machete. Stop our bleeding. Hmm. Oh, we still have the machete in our inventory, so that's fine. There we go. It's an assembly line. Backpack hype? Yeah, yeah, backpack's good. Um, I was thinking about not even taking it because honestly, it's, it's just something that can be made so easily, but, but yeah, it's good at this point in the game. It's worth, worth washing for now. Probably should have marked the places where there's water, but I'm sure we can find them. I haven't marked, I don't think any sort of a permanent source of water. There's one right there though, but this is a couple floors away from where we want to be ultimately. Let's mark it anyway, just in case we end up, like, scratching our heads and being like, where's water? And we'll use that to wash the Kevlar and the other stuff later. Meanwhile, it is library time. All right. Skitterbot. Uh-oh. Well, let's just pull it into this side room over here with all of the ashes. Oh, you just shocked me, didn't you? You bastard. Hope that doesn't slow me down too much. It did! Slow me down enough that he, like... Hmm. Well, let's just get in the library and close the door behind us. Where there's another skitterbot. Okay. Okay, this is, uh... Ah, uh, shotgun time. When in doubt. Just wait until it's full. One more. Can I risk it? Yeah. There we go. Well. I do have a, like, really bad habit of, like thinking I can handle a fight and just not doing the the safe effective thing like blasting it at point blank range with a shotgun so 
it's probably a good good thing for me to do more blasting things at short range with a shotgun. History of Firefighting is an amazing book, by the way. MIT Guide to Lockpicking? You mean it wasn't necessary to sit here, like, using, like, millions of lockpicks every single game to train it up, like I've been doing recently? Well, that's cool. Complete Trapper, we don't have either, yeah. Out of the Holler and Into the Home. A Guide to Home Distillation. Cool. First Aid. Gun Owner's Handbook, sure. And that's about it. That's a good haul, though. Happy. I'm still picking up a whole bunch of stuff I know I can't eat, but whatever. So now, the next question is, now that we've had a chance to to uh, catch our breath, do we let the Skitterbot in here and try to trap it? Um, or do we just kill it with our shotgun? And I think the answer is we only have three shotgun shells, so we want to be careful with, with them. So we're going to be a little bit... A little bit fast and loose here. There we go. Okay. Worth a shock to keep the uh, to keep the bullets. Yeah, you're right. I, I totally agree. Blocked. Blocked greed. We have blocked a skitterbot. Yeah. Library. Explored, but has skitterbot. We might want the um, to dissect those things later to take them apart. Oh, right, the spider. I keep opening that, being like, "What's in there?" Oh, a spider. What's in there? Oh, it's a spider. What's in there? Anyway. It's gone. Okay. Uh, so that's one down, and we're pretty high in terms of carried items right now. Let's do some reading and figure out what we have. We we'll probably still have our flashlight on. Yeah, we don't need that here. So... Three marksmanship's nice. A uh, good sort of in-between healthcare guide, which we I think we needed one to get us to three. I think and the guide to lock picking does devices skill, which is which is a good start. Doesn't give the proficiency, but still. So that's good. Okay. Um. Now what? One thing I really wish that we'd found on this floor that we need to find on this floor is a second stairs down to a different part of that that uh, basement, but. I don't know if that even exists. I guess we'll just go back up to the base, drop all the books off, and then pick the next target. Yeah, this is it. Oh, what's that? Soldering iron? Sure, don't mind if I do. Survived the fire, apparently. Soldering iron seemed to be heat resistant, which I suppose makes some sense. We have so many soldering irons, it's kind of ridiculous. It's definitely overkill, but whatever. Yeah, it probably is in one of the sealed off rooms. I agree. Okay. Oh, we can uh, get inside this drink machine now. We have a card for it. So let's just grab these things. Obviously, the, the energy, the grape drink, fruit drink, lemonade are not going to do anything for us anyway, so I'll leave those alone. The rest of it, though, um, same with the root beer. Yeah, there's still some stuff we got. Oh, and the, the coal and the energy drink, too. Doesn't seem like I can uh, drink either of those. Oh, well. Okay. So we could go to something on this level or we can let's just let's just keep up the plan of, of starting in the basement and working our way up from there. It feels a little bit more orderly that way, you know. Not gonna lose track of what we have and haven't uh, gone to yet. So what's this one? Vehicle testing. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Now this might have some really nice welding gear. I'm going to take a second hard hat just in case the horns break the one we have. We want a backup for that. I think the hiking boots are better than our, our regular boots, I think. Regular boots are like um, 
eleven five five one zero two, and these are four 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 one zero two. So the regular boots are better than the hiking boots by quite a bit, actually. So let's uh, let's grab the boots anyway, so that we can make leather out of them. We heard shuffling. That's a little bit worrying. Same with the work gloves, I guess. Oh, it's on the other side of the doors, of course. Sure. What's in here? A jumper cable. Got it. It's a generator with a jumper cable. Makes perfect sense. Leather gloves. Steel toe boots. No juggernaut yet. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Huh. We're not gonna see, not, not gonna see a juggernaut, right? I think. Welding tanks. More welding tanks. Mechanical mastery. That's a good one. Flashlight I'll take. Uh, might as well take that one. A big welding tank. More boots. So again, we got plenty of welding tanks, but no welders. I think that's what happened last time we found one of these... Uh, these... these uh, oh, mining helmet! Don't mind if I do. I'm going to take off the uh, hard hat, and we're going to wear a mining helmet instead. We'll drop it, since we already have a hard hat in our inventory. Mining helmet. Cool. Now we look really, really, really cool. Our horns are sticking out of the mining helmet. And we got fangs, and we're holding a regular helmet. We're just going to hold the regular helmet for a while, just so we look better. Looks like we have a basket. Looks like we're trick-or-treating. So what's the car? The car is in absolutely 100% perfect condition. <laughs> um, man, this would be nice to have on the surface. Uh, it has uh, 248 liters of plutonium fuel cells. Wow. Okay, so there's a, an awful lot of plutonium here. Um, I'm going to disassemble this at some point and bring the stuff to the surface. Meanwhile, here on the portable generator side, we have some gas. We have a small storage battery. Um... And that's great. We don't. What we don't have is a battery recharger in the in this stow board, which is interesting. But um, we might as well drag this with us, I guess. We can. Um, um, here, I'm just going to update this note quickly. Okay, perfect bubble car. So we're going to bring this thing with us because um, we might want these compo the, the, the components that it has in order to craft a, um, what do you call it? Um, a jackhammer. That's the word I'm looking for, jackhammer. Is there something behind me hitting my cart? No. I don't think so. So I'm just going to, like, put this, like, right at the top of the stairs kind of thing, right here. Um, and I'm going to tell it to remember vehicle position, which is a nice, easy way to make the game remember where it is for us without having to put a note in manually, make it really obvious. Um, I'm going to drop the hard hat I'm holding because that joke's worn dry at this point. I'm going to pick up our crowbar that we put down earlier. Okay. So that's, like, all the things on this bottom floor, all of them. We'll take the jumper cables with us, I suppose. Now, what was down here again? Yeah, it's just this. Nothing. Okay. I suppose we might as well look in these bathrooms, or these, uh, these little rooms, just in case there's stairs. There's just, just these two rooms down here that we haven't checked out. So we'll do that at some point. Probably when we have a little bit more in terms of armor. Okay, let's make this one the next one. I'll take the barley. There's some more water here. I might even just mark that, say water again. Now, it wouldn't let us take the barley. I guess that means, oh yeah, we're totally full again. We'll go home quickly. It's not far away. Right here. Really close. Read the two books. So now look at that. Mechanics to three, and then need mechanics three to start reading it. So we're, we're going to get our mechanics up really high in the lab if we want to. 
And we have a bunch of leather out of there, too, which is beautiful. Leather is amazing. So keep the blindfold, I guess. And a scissor jack, you know. Just in case we need one. And a bunch of welding tanks. Which would be really nice to find an arc welder for. That would be great. Kind of useless paperweights as it is, but, you know. They're trying. So yeah, we're done with that, uh, that floor. So let's go in here. We will take the barley and raspberry seeds while we're here. Open this one. Yes, yes. Unlock. Yes. Yeah. I think there's something in here. Something's been destroying a thing. Well, maybe not. Okay, what's in the driver's seat of this thing? Cocaine! All right. Cocaine. Should be an achievement for it, damn it. Locating of a hell of a drug. Um, okay, so... This was, again, it's an atomic sports car that's in absolutely perfect condition. Pristine. And these two enhanced electric motors, that is my favorite engine for, like, a uh, giant mobile base to have. Bunch of, bunch of storage batteries, a mini reactor, some solar panels, and a couple of enhanced electric motors. And that's, like, the greatest propulsion possible in the game, in my mind. Um, because it's silent. And you don't ever have to refuel it, because you've got some plutonium in your car, and you've got plenty of sunlight outside. So, it's beautiful. Beautiful, I say. Okay. So, I mean, that's great and all, but what, what is there for us? Oh, a, a proper hammer. That's going to be extremely important, actually, for certain crafting recipes. Knee pads. Combustion fundamentals. I thought we had that, but I guess not. More welding tanks. I think we already have goggles, but I'm going to grab them anyway, I guess. Okay. What's this? Is this a mobile... Oh, it's a foldable... Foldable engine crane. Gotcha. Useful thing. Not particularly useful at the this exact moment, but it's good to have. Um, and we can bring that home, which is good. So again, a bunch of leather. Looks like we're going to be 0 for 2, though, unfortunately, on the arc welders. That's really, really too bad, not getting arc welders in these labs, or in these uh, testing sites. Tool belts are good, though. I'm going to wear one of those. Um, no space for boots, you say? Well, let's, let's leatherize them. Cut up everything, my friend. 20 rubber and 20 leather. That should be smaller than boots. More boots. Earplugs! Earplugs are wonderful. They are my friend. Boots, 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 gloves. Cut up. And more hooded hard hats. Yeah, so we're not going to get a welding tank, I guess. Oh, we have looked at this, right? I guess not, because I don't remember the plastic jerry can being here. That's a good find as well, that we don't have room to carry, unfortunately. And a bottle jack. Okay. And a small electric motor. These are all good things. Even the small electric motor, I'm pretty sure, is the thing that's used for jackhammers. So they're all really helpful items. So we're going to take our big messenger bag. We're going to unload it. And we're going to store all this stuff in our inventory. Or no, actually, we'll, we'll, um, we'll want to tear apart the gloves and the boots again. Okay. Good. Now can we get the bottle, Jack? No. Oh, boo. Okay, well, well, we'll just have to come back down here, I guess. Um, bottle jack and plastic jerry cam. Oh, and folding engine crane, of course. Um, so... Folding crane. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's going to really suck if we don't have um, 
if we can't at all find uh, a um, an arc welder, or not an arc welder, sorry, a, uh, what do you call it, a torch, the settling torch. It'd be an awful waste of like a gigantic pile of welding tanks. Well, wear those knee pads. Might as well. And uh, I'm going to activate the um, tool belt a few times and see what we can put in it. Hammer for sure. Exacto knife, I guess. Screwdriver set, I guess. Can't put our machete in there, eh? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Read internal combustion. Mechanic skill up to eight. Nice. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Grab the rest of this junk. Oh, why did we bring our crowbar? That was a mistake. Oh, well, whatever. Jerry can, bottle jack. I'll just drag this for now. Don't know why I made the note just to erase it again a few minutes later, but whatever, we're erasing it. I'm gonna replace it with uh, explored. As perfect, um, what do you call them? Electric sports cars, whatever it's called, I don't know. It's lucky we're so close to home. I don't mind just dragging this for a little bit. It doesn't really hurt anyone or anything. Just drop the those couple things off. And be back on our merry road. That engine crane's nice. It's going to allow us to get the uh, enhanced electric engines out and put them in whatever we find on the surface. Or build, I guess. Okay, so uh, back down one level and see what's see what's down there that we can grab. Oh, what's this right next to us here? Weapons testing. Don't mind if I do. Little concerned about what high level zombies might be in here, but let's do it. Oh no! Didn't work. Well, that sucks. We're gonna have to come back there with a the jackhammer. And I'm pretty sure at this point we will be building a jackhammer before we're out of this lab. Because that's just the way it seems to be going. Prisoner containment, you say? Sure. Lots of zombie scientists. I mean, I guess I don't really care about them right now. I'd rather come back at a time where I have a chance to perhaps uh, butcher them and get some uh, delicious, delicious CBMs out of them. So let's just leave it. I'm going to update the note and say lots of uh, zombie scientists. Okay. There were like six of them or something. What's next? Uh, up top? Oh no, that's the... Uh, that's the test area that we started in. So I think that's it for this floor, unfortunately. We, we lost access to the weapon testing, which is too bad. Though I seem to remember that at least there was one place where there was wep weapon testing. Like, there was a staircase that was right. Yeah, so this weapon testing that's locked is right there. And I think I remember there being a staircase. There is. There is a staircase. So maybe we can get into it sneakily through the staircase. I hope so. Let's try. No. Oh, weird. 
I guess I I guess I just misread the map. Misread which square we were on. Oh well. Not a big deal. So we will want to kill that man hack at some point. Um, our torso is pretty low right now in terms of health. It's actually lower than I remembered it being. I'm going to bandage, bandage an antiseptic it. Um, so it's really not a good time to fight a man hack. But at some point, we will want to fight that man hack. Oh. Hello, zombie. I guess I should have paid a bit more attention, shouldn't I? Well, how are we going to deal with you? Probably just by stabbing you to death, eh? So you were the thing making all that racket over there, eh? I was kind of worried about that room and not going in because I heard the racket, but... If I had known it was just you. Look at that! Headbutt the zombie with the horns for six damage, sink your fangs into the zombie for six damage, and strike for 35. It's beautiful. Oh, we're crouching. No wonder. Thought I'd set it on run, but we must have been on run already. That's frustrating. Oh, well. Bye-bye, baby zombie. Bye-bye. So we put antiseptic on, but we did not yet put a bandage on. So we're going to do that. Pick up the crowbar. Oh, and there's another zombie. Okay, well, then we will just uh, drop the crowbar again, I guess, eh? Wield machete. This time we'll remember we're running and not crouch. We're grabbed. We're just going to break it. It's fine. Thump. Why did you just punch the wall, zombie? That wasn't very smart even for a zombie. Ha, <laughs> swift strike, swift strike, headbutt, yeah. This whole, like, ninja mutant thing is paying off beautifully, and I love it. Okay. Hoodie fits. I'm just going to take it. Whatever. That one doesn't fit. Adhesive bandages. Eh, kind of useless, but whatever. And this is a weapon testing range we have not tried yet, so let's let's get into this one. Yes. Lock disabled. Good stuff. I'm a little bit worried there might be scary scaries in here, especially with that uh, spent ammunition. I'm going to turn my flashlight off briefly. We can see in the dark after all here. Probably shouldn't be overusing the flashlight. Looks like there's nothing in here, though. We don't have knife techniques yet, so that's a good find. I think we do have submachine gun. Oh, no. No, it's not picking up, so I guess not. We must not have it. Those are just casings. Yeah, just casings, of course. Uh, guns and ammo I really don't care about. Turn the flashlight back on. Get a bit more vision. Okay, so really the only thing we have to do is try to get in... Ooh, combat knife! My inventory is empty? What are you talking about? Combat knife. Activate sheath. Oh, is the sheath in, sheath in the locker that I activated? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, yeah, and now we're wearing it. Beautiful. Combat knife. Awesome. And that's... The combat knife also works with, uh, with ninjutsu. I think the machete's better, though. No, the combat knife's better, except to hit bonus. The machete is a much better to hit bonus. And that's enough, actually. That much better to hit bonus is enough to make it worth using, I think. All else being equal. But the combat knife can just, like, sit on us in our, uh, in our, in our neat little, uh, sh little sheath. So if we don't happen to want to bring a machete with us in any given time, we can just do what we want. So that's good. So we're going to try to hack into this. This is a really high skill level one, though, so we might not succeed. No. And then our body's damaged. That sucks. Um, gun safe. We will get into those. I'm sure at this point we're totally going to get, like, some sort of jackhammer going or else, like, you know. Unless, unless we really are missing some component that we can't possibly get. Which is totally, totally reasonable, but, you know. We'll try. We'll certainly try. We'll try hard. Okay, so there's two more, um, two more rooms up at the top, and they are, just check the map, another weapons testing and a prisoner containment. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we'll start with the fun one. The fun one, of course, is the weapons testing. Wait, what does my note say? Guarded by a man hack. Okay. Oh, right, so the man hack is totally loose. Let's try to fight it. Um... The real question about this man hack is, are we going to use the shotgun? Now, our torso is at three. I don't like that torso. Okay, so we are going to use the shotgun. We're going to put down the pierce, uh, the purse, the pierce, the messenger bag, and the sling. Okay. Ignore. Then we're going to put down the books and the battery and the sealed energy cola, which... We can't drink anyway. Ignore. Then we're going to pick up the machete. Oh, which is in the sling, so whatever. Where the, where the sling? Unload the sling. Oh, okay. So, yeah. We can't um, hold the machete, unfortunately, without the sling. That's fine. So we'll drop the sling. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, wield... The shotgun. Drop the crowbar. Okay. That's a slime. That's not a... A robot. It's a slime. Okay. Try this side. That's the slime again. Did we like kill this man hack and then forget to mark it off? Because we killed a man hack around here for sure. But was it the only one? I thought there was another one. I mean, if it's just the slime, that's that's wonderful. It looks like it is. Okay, we're just gonna trap the slime up here and be done with it. No problem. Come on. Really? Thank you. Done. Okay, so let's put our stuff back on. Now that we feel all confident and shit. Wear the purse. Wear the bag. Wear the sling. Uh, pick up the machete. Pick up the crowbar. Where the Mossberg pick up all of these thingamabobbers. Yes. Yes. Good. We're in. Oh, and there's a staircase up inside here. It's another one of those things where, like, this... No, this was totally the place. It must have been where we said that there was a st staircase where... Maybe it would lead inside here. But yeah, it's definitely true that the um, these weapon testing facilities can totally have staircases. And actually, that's interesting because... Am I right in thinking... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not right. Yeah, no, the one we couldn't get into is two stories above the empty basement, not one story above. So what's up here? Oh, it's inside the garage. Well, let's look at the garage first because that's, the, that's the, the, the better one. So we have two portable generators in here, not just one. That's interesting. Um, another jumper cable. Raincoat's a good thing. I'm just going to go straight over here, though. Power cutter with uh, gasoline there. That, that, that's basically like a, a really, really intense hacksaw, essentially. Uh, found one of those a while ago. It's not that, it's not that amazing, really. Not as cool as it sounds. Insecticide, sure. I mean, gas. Nails, okay. Whatever. More... Oh! Acetylene torch! We have everything we need to forge our way to success. Except maybe clay for a crucible. I wonder where you get clay down here. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we're well on our way. It's too bad. We probably can't actually get clay down here, can we? Wouldn't think so, anyway. Hmm. And a drill. A drill's very handy. And there's a steel frame, too, which could be good. Far less plutonium in this one. 
Yes, clap indeed. Oh, hey, that dog was, like, guarding the entrance, but now he's stuck out there and I'm in here. How does that feel, dog? Yeah. That feels real shitty for you. Tell you what, for me, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's just, um, see what kind of leather we can get. I'm going to cut apart these tool belts now because we have enough tool, get tool belts. I'm also not going to bother taking the rubber because we have lots of rubber. Looks like we can't store all this leather anyway. Oh, yeah, we're totally, we're, we're pretty full, right? Um, well, no, not really. Should be able to take this leather, right? No. Ugh. Storage system continues to confuse me. Well, we'll load the load the torch, I guess. That might help. With the giant acetylene tank. Maybe we have room now? Yes, we do. Good stuff. Oh, because the torch is on the ground. Of course it is. That's right. The torch, uh, once it's loaded, is too big to be carried. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we, we certainly don't need this can of cola, so... Really? It won't let us pick up either of these things that we had just picked up a few minutes ago? Okay, let's just drop all the leather patches. Ah, oh, damn it. So frustrating. Now we'll pick up as many of these as we can. And that's nine. Okay, let's go home. We will come back. Ascension time? You think it's time to get out already? I don't. I'm, I, I'm like, just getting started in terms of the stuff we can do down here. We also have that barracks to, to crack into. We can get some Kevlar out of that and some, probably a gun or something, like a pistol. Uh, where's home again? Yeah, that's right. It's underneath. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, this is, this is home level. I thought, for some reason, I thought we were still below home level, but we're totally not. Okay. We have a hundred cocaine. We're loaded. Ascension is in transcending humanity. Okay, yes, that is that is very true. I was thinking of the uh, physical ascension rather than the metaphorical ascension. What is that? Is that what a metaphor is? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying words and hoping they, they make some sense and don't make me look like too much of a fool. Only the perfect amount of fool. Speaking of things the perfect amount of fool does, I'm going to eat a baby. Yeah, I am. Fetus. Feed me a fetus. Mmm. Yum. I feel horrible because I ate a fetus. But I also feel great because I ate a fetus. So, like, they kind of level out, I think. We'll just finish off our yogurt. Nothing goes with fetus quite like yogurt. I'm going to stop making fetus jokes. No, I'm not. I, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm tell I keep telling myself I'm going to stop making fetus jokes. But, like, realistically, no. No, that just sounds like a terrible idea. I'm just going to keep making them. Definitely making them is the right idea. So we're going to wear our blindfold. And... We are going to get some sweet, sweet sleep out of this. Um, what else is anything on? No, no, we're fine. Sleep. Continue. Oh, we fell asleep. Good. Wasn't too bad. Disturbingly lifelike dream has us pollinating plants. Yummy. I thought we were going down the bear line, but we're still dreaming of the hive mind. So, okay, sure. We have now 100% healed. Our innate fast metabolism trait turns into light eater. That's good. Our fast metabolism trait has just gone the other way around. And that's really, really a, a very nice thing for us because uh, even though we have tons of food, we can't eat most of it because of our, being a carnivore, you know. So we're going to have to do a lot of hunting, I guess, once we get to the surface. Maybe just go hunting until we find like a dairy farm or something. 
Hunting for, for dairy farms. That's that's the way. Um, right, so I was going to take off the blindfold. I should eat some stuff. Can we cook with what we have? Probably. We have a hot, hot plate, right? We do have a hot plate and a chemistry set as well, but we don't have any skill at all. Okay, so food. Um, what's here? Coffee? Mm. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. We'll eat some cracklins. A couple pickled fish. That sounds delicious. Um, some water. Try to get the ones. Okay, that's good. Now let's do some more reading. Might as well keep going on the, uh, the old applied sciences, see if we can get up to the point that we can get our own mutations working. Uh, we could also consider starting with fabrication. Do we have a full path to fabrication and tailoring? That's that's a big question right now. Actually, that that's a pretty bad thing right there. We 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 only have fabrication to one, and then one that requires fabrication four. So we'd have to get all the in between levels. We'd have to get levels um, two, three, and four, uh, just through grinding skills, which can be done. Fabrication is one of the easier ones to grind with, but. It's not ideal. And uh, similar with tailoring, we don't really have any good tailoring books at all. We only have a level one book. So that's unfortunate. We could have used with another library or two, but otherwise, otherwise everything is going great. So perfect. Um, so let's, uh, let's read about... Um, hmm. Maybe... Applied sciences, I guess. So we have one that's 43 minutes or one that's 47, or sorry, 25 minutes, but with a minus one fun. So we're going to do the 25 minutes with a minus one fun for sure. So let's just go. Get at it. All right. Eighty-five percent, ninety percent, ninety-four, ninety-seven. Yeah, appliance sciences level five. Level five. Eat some meat sticks. Eat some cheese. Drink some pilsner. That's delightful. Drink a bit of clean water, maybe. Wash it all down. And do some more applied sciences reading. Very, very nice. MP3 player turned off. Oh dear. Pork sticks, pork sticks, cheese, cheese. Water. Water. Reload MP3 player. We are really low on light batteries here. Something that we haven't uh, done as well with. Play the MP3 player. Read Applied Sciences. We're getting there. I guess we need level 8, right, to start start screwing with mutagens. I'm kind of anxious to get up to level 8 so that we have the recipes available to us and we can really figure out what it is that we don't have but need. Because I'm sure there's a few things I haven't been picking up that I should be. We are tired now, so I'm going to switch to butter for now. Because we don't care about our joy. Imagine if we were radioactive mutations all the time. Yes, it would be wonderful. Like, I can't believe, like... No, I'm not even going to talk about slime borg. Um, I think we made a mistake with slime borg when we were trying to get rid of the radioactive property. Look at all this ammonia and bleach. That's got to be good. Okay. Do we have mutagens in here yet? We're, we're only level six. Yes, we do. Okay, good. 
So... Oh man, yeah, we should be collecting all the body parts and not eating them. I don't think we can eat body parts anymore. We need them to make mutagen. It's probably a way better idea just to make mutagen. Because we have, like, ludicrous amounts of both bleach and ammonia. And we have all the tools we need. So all we need is either tainted meat, which we can get tons of as well, just killing zombies, uh, or arms and fetus and stuff. Okay, so, yeah, let's... And we don't have quite enough slime globs. One more slime glob would do it as well, but whatever. That seems like the harder way to, harder way to go. So... That is really what we're missing, is the, is the tainted meat. Why don't we try to fix that now? See how well that goes. The northeast, I heard wump. Oh, okay, well, whatever. There's got to be dead zombies around here somewhere, right? Well, let's get the body parts first. Mutated arm. Mutated leg. Do you agree with me that rather than eating the body parts, what we should really be doing is, like, cooking them into, like, the essence of body parts, you know? So when you make them into their essence, they grow in power. That's... that's what the homeopaths tell me. Pretty sure that's how it works. We will have the essence of fetus, even if... Actually, you know what, though? We, we've eaten all of the fetuses we found. Like, we didn't find that many fetuses, and we ate them all. So, like, I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're... we've definitely eaten the fetuses. That's the thing that's happened. So there's more up here. Let's catch our breath just in case we run into something scary. Remember mutations are highly addictive? Well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the point in the character, right? We're supposed to be absolutely obsessed by this shit. That's why we volunteered for the program that planned to mutate us into something crazy until, until you know, the apocalypse happened and the program was shut down. But now that we have escaped our cell, the world's loss is our win. We could wield the mutated leg. That reminds me a wee bit of a, a wonderful game called Planescape Torment, where one of your, your finest early, early weapons is a, is a leg. And no... I'm not pulling your leg, Chad. It's true. It's a wonderful game. The most wonderful RPG ever made, in my mind. Though that's kind of silly. It's, it does feel rather outdated at the moment, but only in gameplay, not at all in storyline. Mutagens? Okay. Oh, you said mutations. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, I, I, I got you. I figured it out. I, uh... I, I read mutagens, even if it actually said mutations. I'm pretty sure I did, anyway. Okay, so... What? It still says mutated arm or mutate two or mutated leg two when we have we have like two of each, right? They're rotten. Oh, is that it? Did we leave them in the vats for too long until they were rotten and now we can't actually make anything out of them? Hey guys, we can't eat the legs and arms anyway. They're all rotten now. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Well, we'll put the rotten body parts in a corner and leave them there then. At least they look real pretty over there. That's terrible. That's a tragedy. Now we're going to have to kill slimes and zombies and take their flesh. Oh, well. I'm glad we noticed now before we killed everything and let it all rot, you know? It's something. Okay, so what more can we put down? Maybe, might as well go on another little jaunt. Pick up some more good stuff. Ah, oh, it looks like it. Okay. Well, that's very disappointing. Now I must eat them? But they're rotten! <laughs> 
Uh, even I have my limits, right? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe eat the rotten meat. Isn't that, like, super likely to make me sick, though? <laughs> there are more tanks with body parts? Yeah, but they're all rotten. Like, look. I, like, I just rescued those. Th this is rotten, too. They're all rotten. It's just a, it's a great tragedy. All of the tanks have rotted. So there you go. Like, word to the wise chat. Like, if you're ever, like, diving a lab on the first day, like, doing a lab start, and all you want out of your lab start is some sweet, sweet mutant meat, you better, better eat that fast, you know? Better eat it within the first two days, like, all of it. Or else you're, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, I don't want to disassemble it. That's just gonna take way too long. Yeah, I'll leave it. I mean, it might make sense to, like, fill this jerry can. We have a jerry can over here, right? Or did we already grab it? We must have already grabbed the jerry can. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Whatever. Oh, no, here it is. Good. So let's just fill the Gary jerry can with gasoline here. Oh, we don't have a hose. Never mind. Let's not do that, then. Okay, so we'll mark this off as being vehicle testing. Explored, but perfect bubble car. We're harvesting all of these automotive parts to bring to the surface like we have to. Uh, mining helmet. What's in here? Nothing. There's no uh, combat knife in this one. Alright. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I am still streaming G-Dom. Uh... There's always a catch. You'd think it had the decency to stick around. Yeah, I thought so. Especially in a vat, right? Isn't that the whole point of being in a vat? It's like filled with pickle juice and stuff, you know? Things don't go bad when they're in pickle juice. That's just the way it works. Anyway. Armory entrance. Bypass security. Yes! Unlock entrance. Yes! Oh, it worked! It worked! It worked! We have weaponry! We have weaponry, people! All the weaponry we could possibly want. Well, maybe not. We want more ammo, but but this is still pretty cool. Got a got a good pistol. Um, we have a Mexican chicken stew. Like, you know, whatever else we have, we will always have the Mexican chicken stew. We're gonna have to put down our crowbar though and wield one of these. Uh, so what are you? You're a submachine gun. I don't like you very much. The Scar L is a nice. A nice assault rifle with a very popular type of ammo. We have some BMG rounds. Wait, energy saber? Hold on. Energy saber? We're gonna be like a... We're gonna be a mutant Jedi, Twisted Officer. It's not gun time, it's Jedi time. It's Jedi time! It's, um, this is gonna be great. We have an energy saber. We have a UPS, too. And we have a whole lot of, like, medium and heavy batteries that we can put in our UPS. We can also learn electronics well enough to be able to build plutonium fuel batteries, probably, out of all that plutonium. I'd imagine so, anyway. Maybe not. I don't know. But, but we have a frickin' lightsaber. Like, it's, like, it's actually a lightsaber. <laughs> Look at that price. Hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Oh man. We have a we have a lightsaber, people. <laughs> we have a we have a an obviously a very rare lightsaber. Uh, I don't know. Uh probably not. I think it's probably just a sword, you know? Like, generally speaking, cutting through doors and stuff is a question of, of like weapon quality, you know, like of um or sorry, of like a, a tool quality. Like it would have to have a tool thing of some sort. Mutant lightsaber ninja, yes. Oh, we're so, so mutant ninja lightsaber. Yeah. And we have hard shin guards, too. And you can't underestimate the importance of hard shin guards. Foot protection, leg protection. It's everything. We should uh, make sure we grab all the ammo. Um, yeah, there's literally one round of 9mm in here that we were almost wasting. So I don't know whatever we would have done. Will that fit? Will the MP5... Magazine, I'm sure it probably won't. No, no. Okay, so we'll unload the magazine. We'll drop the magazine. We'll reload the MP, M, the M17 with that one. So we, we literally saved one bullet by going back, but that's okay. Every bullet counts.
lightsaber. Yeah. Okay, now time to do the, the prisoner containment. First off, I'm going to check the staircase and make sure it's not, like, inside something crazy. No, no, it isn't. All right, no problem. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the same thing where I, like, don't really care enough to try to kill those guys right now. And I'll want to dissect them later, so let's just leave that alone. I'll put a note again saying, Prisoner Contain has lots of scientists. So hopefully, uh, before we escape this lab, we'll want to go down and get some of those scientists out. That would be good. Really? Where did you come from? You know I have, like, a giant assault rifle with me, right? Right, dog? So I have a choice now. I can either, like, shoot this thing in the face, which will be super easy and, and super deadly, or I can run away a little bit and try to stab it to death to save the, like, single bullet. I think I might just add, just do that. We have a machete and a combat knife. Okay, whatever. Can we get... Oh, there's another one. Okay. I'm still happy about that. This is going to be a one-tile one, one tile choke point area here. We'll just wield the machete, drop the scar. We still have our shotgun if we need it. We shouldn't, but if we do... Yeah, there we go. That was easy. Lab coat ripped. How dare you? How dare you, sir? There we go. Pick back up the scar. Catch my breath. Tiny bit of damage, but that's fine. The tainted meat and globs will be a hassle, but worth it. That's true, actually. We should we should butcher these. We don't want to butcher the um, the stuff that's just sitting around. Um, tainted blood. Plastic jerry can? Yeah, we're going to have a plastic jerry can full of tainted blood. It's amazing. Amazing. Um... Yeah, so we don't want to butcher zombies that are just kind of laying around, um, because they'll probably be uh, rotten by now. But we're going to take all this tainted blood. Yes, we are. <laughs> blood. Oh, yeah. You never have too much tainted blood, that's for sure. Mining helmet battery's lasting pretty well. Unlock. Yes. Yay, we're inside another vehicle track. We found all the important stuff in the last one, but... Oh, well. I'm actually going to leave all this clothing alone. Um, I'm going to add in my note here. Still has leather. And that way we can come back if we want leather. This is interesting. There's a hole in the wall. Drink the blood. Don't do that. <laughs> look, look. Look, guys. Look, look. <laughs> um, Pogs in chat. I think that's what you're supposed to say when this happens. Look at it. Look at it. It's so sexy. Look at it. Oh, that's going to get us into all the locked things that we can't otherwise get into. And it's also going to allow us to escape. Like, if we have to, to get around the, um, the turret, we can just... Um, Use cardboard boxes to sneak sneak to the side rooms and then jackhammer out through the side rooms and it'll be amazing. Yeah, it's great. And we have so much gasoline too. Um I I don't know what I don't know where. I I, I mean they're not there, but that's because Chad I don't think is, is holding up its end of the bargain. You know, Chad's supposed to be the one who's like being all 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 like you know, saying things that are meme ish and stuff and doing that but <laughs> I don't care I don't care <laughs> I'm just joking around guys uh, <laughs> one digging quality over that plastic snow shovel okay and there's a wood axe too which you know something biodiesel 
Um, more insecticide and gas. Welding and metallurgy is good. I think that fills a gap in our fabrication, doesn't it? That's a fabrication book for sure. Oh, and look at this. It's an arc welder. There's a vehicle vehicle mounted welding cart here. <laughs> and we have all of that um, gasoline from the other places. Okay, this is the, this, you know what game? You won me over a long time ago. You don't have to keep like sucking up to me here. You don't have to make me feel this special. Like I know I'm not that special. I mean, I'm pretty special in fairness, but I'm not this special. Wow. You hate Pog with a passion? Well, there you go. I, I honest, honestly, like, if I'm being real about it, I hate pretty much anything that is popular out of meme factor. Like, pretty much anything. Um, but at the same time, I really enjoy subverting that shit in order to uh, make fun of it. <laughs> Which is what I feel like I'm doing <laughs> when I say stuff like that. So, you know. If you're down for making fun of it, we can probably still get along, I'm sure. <laughs> you know what? Now that we have this, this like, handy-dandy cart with us, we can just take all the leather things and not have to worry about leaving them here. Just take all of all the things that make leather. So we might as well. Then we'll just have to go through the, the suffering that is involved with updating our little map note again. Change has leather to bubble car. That'll work. Good. Oh, and work gloves, right. Do we want that tank for anything? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Poop champ? Is poop champ going to be the new hype thing that everyone says? Is it gonna like like we're we're eating we're eating a fetus? I will say, and then then chat will go poop champ, poop champ for the fetus, and I, I don't know. It sounds like it's it's trying really hard at least at something, and trying hard is the first first step towards success. Pretty sure that's the way it works. Yeah, tainted blood tanks amazing. Oh, like you mean the 60 liter tank? Oh, I was thinking that the um, that the plastic jerry can would be like enough for tainted blood, <laughs> but maybe not. I don't know. How much tainted blood could we possibly want? How much tainted blood does any one man truly need? That's the real question here. We're only, I'm noticing we have 161 tainted blood, um, but th that's only 0 0.17 liters out of 10 liter capacity. So I think we're okay. <laughs> I think that's enough capacity. So, okay. Um, which one is the one next to home? That's this one, right? Yeah. So we're just going to take this welding... Okay. That worked out. I could have sworn that man hack was going to get us, but nope. So we're going to take this welding cart to the staircase that's right next to our base because unfortunately we cannot uh, carry it downstairs. Not yet, anyway. Sad. So we'll tr transfer everything. And we will stop. Oh, first we're gonna remember it. Make sure we hit remember. And then we'll haul and stop grabbing and go down to the base. Sixty liters worth, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Ah, uh, the game has given me this run on a platinum player with a lightsaber. Yeah, totally, platinum plate. I love it. I love it. Oh, speaking of loving it, I'm making these episodes go awfully long. Uh, so hey, this has been like episode whatever it is. It might be four, but either way, these have been way longer than your typical hour-long episodes because I'm excited, and when I'm excited, I keep anyway. This is the end of the YouTube episode. Good night, everyone.